Hello friends, welcome back. My name is PK. In this video, you will learn how to create a data entry form with the help of ChatGPT in Microsoft Excel. As you are seeing my screen, I have created this data entry form wherein you can enter the name. Let's say I am entering here William, age I am putting for example 40, salary let's say $6,000 and department let's say I am selecting here finance. As I click on submit, you can see data is entered. The entire code we have written using the chat GPT. If you don't have much VBA knowledge, still you can create such form. Please pause this video till the end. I'll explain you step by step complete process. So let's close this. I'm going to the developer tab and visual basic first. And this is the form which I have designed, but I'll tell you from the scratch. So let me insert a new user form. So let's say this is the new user form and simply right click here, go to the properties. Friends, we will design the form manually, but we will not put even single line of code of VBA here. We will take entire code from chat GPT as per our requirement. I will explain you how you can write the prompt to get the code from the chat GPT. So let's quickly design the form first. This is simple form. First, I'm renaming this user form one as let's say FRM data. And here I'm putting let's say data entry scroll it down and let's take the special effect here this one you can change the background color also so let's take the background color from this palette i have taken this one you can choose any other from here so let's say this time i'm taking this one make it slightly bigger and then go to the toolbox and here we will take first this frame drag the frame here Right click, go to the properties, rename the frame one as data entry. Because we have taken the dark color in the background, so we will take the four color as white, this one, and make the font bold, slightly bigger. Okay. Now we will take the label here. So let's put this label, and this label we will take as name. And for the name, we will take the text box. So just Click here, this text box is created, right click, go to the properties and you can change the border style as single. Okay, so this is for name. Now we can quickly make the copy of this, select like these two and paste. So this will be for age. Now select these two and make another copy and this will be for salary. Now copy the label only and paste here and this will be for department. Okay, and let's put this here. For the department, we will create a combo box because we will create a drop down list for the department. Again, here you can take the single border in the border style. All right, now we will arrange it properly. First, select these two and right click align them middle. Similarly, here the last one department and uh, combo box, right click align them middle okay we will select these all and go to the format and vertical spacing make equal similarly select these all boxes format vertical spacing make equal so it is looking a little bit better now now we will add the command button so let's take this command button and just click here this will be submit button okay make a copy of this and paste and this will be cancel button to close the form make it slightly smaller and now we can make the form also smaller so our form is ready quickly i will show you the detail for each box the first name box is the text box one then this is text box two this is text box three this is combo box one you can rename these boxes name as per your requirement but for now i'm not changing it this is submit button is the command button one. This is command button two for the cancel. Okay. So this form design is ready. If I will run, then you can see it is working. Now we have to put the code so that this list should be created automatically. And when we submit data should be entered here. When we cancel form should be closed. Now quickly I'll show you the worksheet also. Here we have simple worksheet and we have taken name, age, department and salary. 
we will enter the data here so let's delete this data and data should be entered here from row number two and each time when we click on the submit button the data should be added from new row we have another worksheet here that is setting sheet and we have the list of department you can add the new department here that should appear on the form automatically and we have created this rectangle also this is simple rectangle like insert and we can insert a shape and this rectangle from here and we can move the rounded corner and you can take any style from here right click and you can edit the text now plan is we will assign a macro here on this button and when you click on this button the form should be appear and you will start the data entry when you click on submit data should be entered here and when you click on cancel form should be closed that's it in this data entry form we are taking only this one but once you will understand the concept how we can get the code from chat gpt then you will be able to create more complex form so let's jump to the chat gpt now i have already opened it so i hope you understand the chat gpt friends i have already created a video on the chat gpt how we can sign up for the chat gpt so first time you need to sign up for the chat gpt you can use the uh, gpt 3.5 this is the paid version but you can use the free version also now I'll show you the prompt. I have already written it here in the notepad in detail. So here, let me show you. First, I'm saying we have created a user form with below detail. Name as textbox1. I have already displayed this thing on the user form property. And this is age as textbox2, say the textbox3, department combo box1. We have submit button as command button1, cancel button as command button2. We have a data worksheet. So let me show you. We have this data worksheet you can see here to enter data from the user form enter the data from row number two below is the information of the worksheet headers range a1 is name range a2 is age range a3 is department and range a4 is salary we have clarify everything here to the chat gpt so that there should not be any confusion and ai might not able to understand what you are trying to say and it might give you the incorrect result. So that is the reason your prompt should be concise and clear so that ChatGPT will understand what exactly you are trying to say. Now here we are saying write the VBA code to enter the data from the user form to data worksheet in new row every time on pressing submit button. We are also saying put the validation in the code as below age and sale should be a positive number none of the box should be blank for example you have to select the department and you have to write the name you can't keep it blank while pressing submit button okay now we are saying after adding the data into worksheet make all the boxes blank okay now we are saying another requirement here that is we have another worksheet setting wherein we have given list of department on column a first row is the header department list is available from range a2 write vba code on user form load to create the department list here in the department combo box make it dynamic as we add new department it should be added in the combo box automatically we have added a rectangle shape on the data worksheet as a button write a macro to open the user form we will assign that macro on this button okay the prompt is completed let's copy this and go to the chat gpt and simply paste that here and just click send message so here you can see it is writing this is completed now here we can see the code actually it has given these three code the first is bba code to enter the user form to data this is the code to enter to the data and we have to put it on the submit button command button one okay then the next it has given bb code to populate combo box with the department list okay so this is the code here now the next one is this is macro to show the user form this can be placed in new module all right so let's see and uh, let's copy this first one and we will go to visual basic editor and this is the form which we have created and we have to enter in the submit button double click here and just delete all and simply paste okay so this is command button one then go to the chat gpt again and 
next one is to create the department list so just copy this and just come here and let's paste after the answer all right we have to create a module also so that we can create a macro to assign on the rectangle so create a new module and let's copy that code copy this and paste that here now user form one dot show so here it has mentioned already you can see in the comments replace user form one with the name of user form so we have taken frm underscore data so we have to use here frm underscore data okay either we should mention it in our prompt so automatically it will take otherwise we can make the changes here. then it is saying you can assign the macro to your button by right clicking on the button select assign macro and then select show user form all right so let's see and right click on this button go to the assign macro select this workbook and select show user form click on ok let's click on this button now you can see user form is open now let's enter some data i am putting here pk and let's put some incorrect information let's say age i am putting a b c Okay, silly. I'm putting let's say X Y Z, and department I'm keeping blank. Click on submit. First, it is saying fill all the fields. So that means we have to select all the fields. Let's say I'm selecting here HR. Now click on submit. It is saying age and silly should be numeric. If I will take here let's say thirty and submit, then it is saying age and silly should be numeric value. Let's say silly. I'm putting here minus four thousand. Okay, so to check whether it is taking the positive number or not, just click on submit. It is saying age and silly should be positive value. So that means it has considered all the validation which we have put in our prompt. Let's delete this minus sign and click on submit. Now data is entered and the form is blank. Okay, so that means we can enter new. Like I am putting here Raj is let's say thirty five, silly five thousand, and department I am taking here Trin. That is done. It is working perfectly. This is the small huge case, friends. You can use this for your complex BBA project also. You can write the small multiple prompts to get the particular piece of code from the ChatGPT. All right, friends. So that is how you can create a data entry form using the ChatGPT. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for watching.